Hello, everybody. <clears throat> this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about uh, November 10th um, Nest League of Legends tournament. Um, just to recap on what happened with Worlds, you know, congratulations to DRX beating T1 in the championship games. Um, sorry about my voice. Uh, I have a little cold, but um, yeah, so that was a very exciting Worlds tournament. Um, I got to go to the semifinals and watch T1 and JDG in person, and that was very, very exciting. I had so much fun. And for those of you who said hello to me at there at that place, uh, uh at, at State Farm Arena, I appreciate that. Um, it was very nice, very nice meeting you guys. Um, hopefully we can do it again sometime. So, so yeah, post Worlds, um, you would think everything is over from the League of Legends tournament, at least for the time being. But in China, they just keep it rolling, right? It's it's funny because somebody joked about how there was no L LPL team in the final game, but you know they're back at it a week later, right? So, um, but I just wanted to point out that <clears throat> this Nest tournament, um, first of all, it's best of threes, um, so it's 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 exactly the same how it is in the LPL, the format wise, uh, format wise. Um, but it is mostly consisted of B teams, you know, such as, you know, the academy players, level players that typically play in this tournament. There are few teams that have um, that now have, uh, you know, regular like tier one players, um, the LPL level players that are playing in this tournament so obviously those teams will be heavily favored going up against um the inferior academy level skilled players so that's why you'll see like today on this on this slate blg is a heavy favorite over anyone's legend and i'll kind of you know kind of break down why those odds are so high and you know what that may mean you know down the road and for those of you who like to bet on the winners of the tournaments, like straight up bets, future bets rather, um, yeah, I think this is a perfect time to do that just based on looking at the rosters, right? So, so yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. It's a four game slate, the first uh, first day of Nest tournament. Like I said, it's a best of threes. Each team has released their rosters. I have posted all the rosters um, in our Discord channel on True DFS. Um, so you see like anyone's legend. So yeah, let's go, let's go into each team, all eight teams. And I think I'll make the predictions after that, just based on the rosters. Really, there's no sample data for me to go off of unless, you know, uh, they have gone against each other before. And I wanted to look at the last year's tournament results just, just to kind of see if there's any patterns or trends or anything like that. <clears throat> All right, so anyone's legend, um, you see it in the top lane, Bowen, Coden. I've heard of Bowen, but um, these are all Academy players. Real Life, Snorlax, Urha, Hungry18, Kai Shuan. Kai Shuan, you've heard of him um, at support, but, you know, he was not much of a, you know, LPL type players, in my opinion. He was not the best, like, support player by any stretch of imagination. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty weak roster. Um, I've heard of Urha, um, but I don't, I just don't think um, he can match up against LPL type players because really I'll keep the uh, AL analysis short because they're going up against BLG team. As you see here, Ben Khan at jungle pins. I've never heard of, um, but he's playing mid lane, but Doggo, Rise, and Dway. I mean, four of the five players have played in the LPL regularly, so I think BLG, that's why BLG is a heavy favorite there, and I fully expect BLG to win unless they stumble on something, but um, I, yeah, I think BLG should win here 2-0, uh, to zero, so I'm going to say BLG wins 2-0. to zero. BLG has the LPL's uh, level players playing in this tournament. I think they're here to win the game. I mean, win the tournament, um, all the whole thing. Um, and I remember Suning did that last year in the Nest tournament. So I can see why BLG would do that. Just get some experience and get some playing time together as a team. And, you know, that never hurts as long as the players are willing to do that. 
All right, Invictus Gaming versus JDG. Uh, coin flip. Um, odds are the same. Ooh, Nenny is playing top lane. Tianjin, I've heard of him. He's pretty good. MG on was okay, like mediocre. I mean, he was not as bad as Wink last year. Remember that? Um, Shin Liu also played in the LPL. So maybe like these two players, Tianjin and MG, but I've heard of Tianjin being really good. So I like IG's chances here. Let's see. JDG, Unravel, Maggie, ZZX, Insulator. I've heard of him, obviously, from FPX. One XN and Feather. So <clears throat> just based on that, I mean, I'll have to go with IG um, because, I mean, they just have more <clears throat> recognizable players. And I really like Tianjin. I know he hasn't played. He hadn't played in the LPL, but I've heard of him in the LDL uh, league. And I like Tianjin a lot at jungle for IG. So I think I'm going to say IG wins 2-0. to zero. I like Nenny on... Shin Liu and Tian Jin, great player in LDL. So, all right. So, I like IG. So, I think that's probably the edge we want to kind of attack, maybe. Um, just going with IG and lower exposure to JDG pieces. Um, so we'll we'll kind of delve into the kill upside uh aspect of each game because we have four play uh, four matches to choose from and i think that it's it more you know more important than anything uh just to you know for gp uh gpp purposes so i'll uh, go into that as well and i'll put it here so i don't forget um and then 2021 best results review <clears throat> okay all right we versus omg um, w E you see Biu Biu is starting. Wow. <laughs> and Bei Shang and Biu and Shang and Shang and Kadaya. What the hell? All right. W E is officially here to win the tournament, just like BLG. Uh, these are all five LPL players. <laughs> that's maybe that's why they're at minus six fifty. Let's see what OMGs looks like. Munyan, he's played in the LPL a few times. Mori Cream. Okay, Cream's pretty good. Starry and Jerry. Okay. So OMG has some players from the LPL season last year as well. Um wow, this is very exciting. Uh actually they are playing a lot of the LPL players, surprisingly. W E. Um let's see if they played them last year too. I wanna see. Yeah, they had Breathe, Beishang, Shanks, Elk missing. Okay, pretty similar. How do they do last year? W E three and one. They went to the championship <laughs> and lost against Suning, who also had the full roster LPL skill level rosters. Yeah, so I think W E having done really well in this type of tournaments, preseason tournaments, I'm gonna go W E. Let's see what OMG did last year. Munyan again. Moving. So they had some LPL players as well. That's surprising. Let's see how they how well they did. OMG. Oh, they played really bad. All right. I know Cream's pretty good, but I think WE's roster is really strong. So I'm going to have to go with WE as well. And also based on last year's uh, history of WE having succeeded really well to going to the championship game. So I'm going to say W wins 2-1. to one. I like Cream for OMG, but man. That's a strong, strong roster. Strong LPL roster for WE. All right. <clears throat> Let's go with Ultra Prime and LNG. Ultra Prime. Ultra Prime has allies. Okay, he played in the LPL. Kellen. Is that the same Kellen? Yeah, I think he played in the LPL before. And then LNG. Panda C, all right. And LP. This is more of a toss-up to me. What are the odds? Uh, UP slight favorite, all right. Um, I think this is a game where it can go either way. I don't have a strong lean on either one. Um, whereas I feel like in the other ones previous in the other three matches, I've had a pretty strong lean on BLG, IG, and WE respectively. 
but this one I don't not I do not have a strong lean on anything. Uh, Whisper Yakai at Jungle versus Darwin. I've never heard of these guys, so let's figure this out. Last year, WP, uh, no UP and LNG. UP LNG. Well. So Ultra Prime actually had Whisper and Yakai last year. Yeah, it's just like Jean Calbao. Rat. <laughs> Kellen. Let's look at LNG. <clears throat> Beige. Yeah, these are some new players. I don't really have a strong lean on either one. Um, I just want to see how they did last year, maybe. Um, maybe I'll look at the LDL. All right, spring uh, summer playoffs. Let's see. So FPX's B team won it last year. I mean, this past season. Let's see UP. Sorry, I'm just kind of going through how they did last year. EDG played really well. UPLNG. They're about the same here. Like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, LNG's it was bad. Yeah, Ultra Prime played better. Whisper Mary Kellen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Ultra Prime. Uh, are they favorite? Yeah. All right. Ultra Prime wins two to two to one, probably. No strong lean either way. So but UP played better with this roster in the LDL last season and better jungle control percentage. Um so I'm going to have to go that uh, UP wins two to one. So, all right, let's look at the kill upside. Um, I think that's going to be interesting to see mostly based on just kind of like an overgeneralization of kill upside. I think it's because, like I said, BLG has the LPL type roster. So I have to look at the LPL team, how they uh, fared last year in terms of combined kills per minute uh, metric. Uh, so it was a BLG Played pretty slow, um, 0.77. Um, so I'm going to go BLG 0.77 AL. I think it was the Academy roster, so I'm going to see if they have AL here. Do we even have it? Anyone's legend? Yeah. 
0.86, so kind of slow as well compared to the other LDL standards. Um, so I'm going to say... <clears throat> Medium upside, um, comparatively. All right, and then IG versus JDG. So I mean, this is hard because IG has and JDG has some have some players that played in the LPL, uh, but you know some players are from the LDL, so it's kind of like a mixture and a hybrid of of that. But let's look at generally. They played really fast in the LDL. And they play really fast in the LPL as well. So IG fast. JDG played really fast, obviously, in the LPL. Do they have it here as well? JDG's Academy. JDG's roster. Unravel. Joy Dream. All right, that's it. That's what I thought. They play kind of slow in the academy. But don't they also have some players from the LPL? I think this is going to be fast. I think it's going to be medium. So, yeah, I think high, high upside. All right, WEOMG. WE obviously has the LPL team. So, let's look at LPL team WE.79 medium. OMG has... Some players from the LPL, but some not. So let's look at both of them. Oh, my dream is 0 0.90 in the medium, in the middle, toward the middle, and pretty fast in that. So medium to high. All right, high to medium upside, and then UP versus LNG and the LDL. <clears throat> UP play really fast, really fast, and then uh, LNG. Really slow, slowest. Wow, slowest. Medium upside. But if you think UP is going to roll, I mean, I can see definitely like UP rolling. It's a medium to high upside. Um, so, yeah, I think I, IG versus JDG has the highest highest upside. And I think IG, I have a strong lead on IG. So I think I'm going to go heavy on IG for, I think that's a really good sign. A lot of the signs pointing into the right direction. So probably IG and with the sprinkle of like, let's say like WE or UP and stuff like that. And I think, you know, overall, I think AL versus BLG has the lowest kill upside. And there is a good risk that BLG just, you know, snowballs and rolls over AL and just finishes like 10 to 2 or, you know, not as many kills compared to other matches. So, yeah, I think that's a really good um nugget and analysis that we have come up with so far 
And look, let's look at, I kind of went over there already, but let's look at what happened last year. Uh, if I can find it, I think I exit out of All right, let's look at what happened last year, right? All right, like I said, Sooning won it last year, um, and then WE came second. Sooning and WE both had LPL rosters, as you see, Business of FM, Angel, Huan Feng, and on, and WE as well, Breathe, Beijing, Shanks, and Elkin missing. And then let's look at who was in the semifinals, whether that you know same type of analysis translates into that. IG and... Yeah, IG. Let's see. It was a double elimination. So, yeah, I mean, uh, that's OMG. IG. <clears throat> yeah, Nenny and Shun. Obviously, Shun was a, he's an elite jungler. So, so yeah, I, that's another, um, uh, factor that plays toward in favor of IG winning as well. They have a good experience in these types of tournaments. So, yeah, I like IG a lot. My favorite play today is ig so anyway that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry i was not as prepared as i i am usually for other videos but this is also a first for me on on this nest tournament it's day one hopefully we'll have some more data to kind of an analyze off of after this but you know otherwise um you know we're just looking at rosters and comparing rosters and experiences and uh, you know what i think will happen and kill upside so i think we have a pretty good analysis here um if you guys have any questions, let me know uh, at DFS Chan. Um, True DFS has sponsored this video, so please, please, please hit the like button below. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, yeah, good luck out there, and thanks, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.